So there's five things I'd really like for you guys to know that you need to think about when you're thinking about purchasing land. We're gonna start off with number one. Location, location, location. I bet you guys have heard this before, but location is key. An acre of land in Clarksville, Tennessee could be anywhere from $7,500 up to $150,000, just depending upon where it's at. And when you get outside the city and you get into the county, it ranges even more. So really knowing what the land should go for will help you guys so much. And knowing what locations to be in for good equitable value in your land, that's huge. Number two, utilities. When you get out onto a lot like this, in the middle of absolutely nowhere, it's great because it's private. It's exactly what a lot of people are looking for, but what they fail to think of a lot of the times is it's hard to get utilities out to a place like this. If you wanna have power, you wanna have water, you wanna have septic. All those things require a utility company to come out. And if your land's not cleared or there's not a good roadway coming to it, and there's no utilities already on the road that's coming to your property, it could be very expensive and it could be a very long wait. So know whether you've got utilities coming to your land if that's something that's important for you. Number three, let's talk about a survey. So survey is extremely important. You might get a lot map, you might get a plot that's already got some grid lines and some markings on it and it's got some generic measurements. That doesn't necessarily mean that that is your registered space and a survey can actually tell you exactly where on your property is the end of your property. And why that's important is, let's say that this tree right here, you wanna cut that down. Um, you wanna put your end of your driveway right there, but that's actually your neighbor's tree. And you cut it down and he gets upset about it, he could take you to court. He could even rip up the new driveway that you just laid down and nobody wants that. So I always suggest have a survey done or ask if you're looking at land, if a fresh survey has already been completed and if they have registered lot lines that are already recorded with the deed. So let's talk about rights for a moment. So there's all sorts of different rights. You can have water rights, you can have timber rights, hunting rights. It's important, especially if you're buying the land for recreational use and you like to deer hunt, turkey hunt, all the things that are so popular out here in Tennessee. All things that a good realtor can find out for you when you're looking for land. So let's talk about number five, easements. If you haven't heard this term before, it's really important in real estate and ultra important in land. Not all land ends at a road. How are you gonna get to it? You can actually sell a square of land that's in between eight other squares of land and they decided that they wanna sell that and you go out and look at it and you're like, oh, this is perfect. Unfortunately, how do I get to it? Because I crossed this farmer's field and then that guy's driveway. Where can I put my driveway? Well, the truth is, if you don't have easement, you're gonna be landlocked. So when you're thinking about being landlocked and you've got your square in the middle of eight other squares and you have to get to a road, you might actually have to request permission from other landowners to be able to run a driveway across their property. And that's considered easement. The other thing that you wanna think of when you're talking about easements is you wanna talk about encroachment. That means somebody else is encroaching on your land with their fencing or their driveway or their shed. Um, encroachments are important and if you've had a fresh survey done and can prove that they're on your land, you can definitely get it moved back pretty easily through the court system. 